The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Maker's mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. Yo. What's up? Please, may I have a word with you? There's always something that needs to be done, right? We just got back from that ball. We stopped the assassination of the Orlesian Empress. And now there's something else I have to take care of. Just when you've solved one crisis, another springs up to take its place. I am sorry to place this burden on your shoulders, but you are the only one who can help. With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. The Inquisition will indeed be harmed by the loss of those two souls because you are asking for my spy master and the head of my army. I guess Cullen is the head of my army. Actually, I guess if I lost Cassandra, that would probably... Of the two that you suggested, if I lost Cassandra, I'd think I'd still be okay. Because Cullen can still lead the army. I'd have plenty of other warriors. But if I lost Liliana, I would not have a spy master. So if I have to make the choice right now, I'd say go ahead and take Cassandra. But I don't, I don't want to lose either of them right now. Is this really all that imperative? Can it not wait until after we've slain the Archdemon? How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Okay. Still not opposed to losing one of my people, just not right now. These aren't just any two people. They're key members of the Inquisition. For the sake of Thedas, we must ask you to make this sacrifice. This will have to be settled later. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. I don't have any important business to attend to, but Josephine's lying to the holy woman. Thank you, Josephine, for lying on my behalf. I don't want to deal with her anymore. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Yes, that's true. We are back here in Skyhold. We stopped the assassination on Empress Selene's life, killed Duke Gaspard, or rather had him executed, and that was the end of that. Oh, and we recruited Morrigan, so that's one more person added to the team. I do not think she's a team member like Varric or Cassandra. She might just be an advisor like Cullen or Liliana. I don't know, she might be around here somewhere, I haven't seen her. Then again, I haven't really looked because I just got back. It's been a while since I've seen Sarah. I did not bring her to the ball. Maybe she's got something going on. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna. The Duchess. And Corypheus. Right in the dangle bag. It's Corypheus, but I don't blame you for not knowing that. It's a stupid name anyway. Alright, you're clearly annoyed. What can I do? You're doing fine. It's the dead piled up in Halam Shirel that's nagging at me. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I suppose it was glossed over, wasn't it? The fact that pretty much every servant in Selene's castle was killed. And no one really seemed to bat an eye about that. Everyone just kept on dancing and singing and celebrating. You should have thrown in earwigs, because in my experience, those things are the worst things to have on you. God, I hate those things. I don't know. You want to stop a party, I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things, with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That, and Briala being an idiot, the whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. Well, I don't think we have enough data here to make that assessment. Sleeping with empresses might not necessarily be a bad thing. Let's not rule out any options here. But I do kind of agree with you. Briala was making a lot of bad choices there. I don't really see what she was trying to accomplish backing Gaspard. She wasn't really going to help her people that way. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. 
It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. Yeah, you can't fix stupid, Sarah. Though God knows I've been trying. Hey, it's you again. Yeah, what's up? Special. What's special? You don't fit the Inquisition. I could kick her out. I don't hate her that much. I'm not going to do that just yet. What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She better. <laughs> it's a very simplistic way of looking at things. Thank you. I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. It would have, wouldn't it? And that would have made everything much simpler. The colors were pretty, though. That they were, and that's all you have to discuss on this topic. Cassandra, let's have a chat, shall we? Someone wants you to be the new pope. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... Looks like you already know. And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. I plan to. The fun never ends in Skyhold, does it? The Inquisitor was hilarious. That's what they'll say one day, you watch. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. You know, I can think of worse people to be the new Pope. I think you'd make an excellent Divine. Truly? I never look good in hats. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars, this cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. Yeah, I suppose that's the case. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. I suppose the Chantry hasn't done the best job it can. But much like how you and I were talking about the Seekers being improved by you, I think the Chantry could also be improved by you. If you're concerned, then make it better. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? I was unaware. Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, <laughs> but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. Perhaps you're the only one who can change it. We have more important things to worry about right That's now. That's not what I wanted. One day we must turn our thoughts to what comes after. But that's not today. I suppose that is true. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. On that, we can definitely agree. Anything else? There is a rumor being circulated. Oh? The intent may be slanderous, but it suggests that you and Ambassador Josephine are... Are what? <sighs> romantically involved. Sounds like you don't approve. Yes, I suppose it's true. Ah, oh, I must admit I am a little surprised. Why is that? I don't see why. True enough. It is your business, and I will leave it at that. Aw, it sounds like Cassandra was developing a crush on me and I just broke her heart. Sorry to hear that. Do you want to be divine? I suppose it's probably important that I get your input on that. So you're a candidate for divine now? So I am informed. Is that something you actually want? Why should what I want matter? Because even though you've got a duty to do, your happiness is important. Why shouldn't it matter? Don't you have the right to be happy? It is very simple. The Chantry needs to survive. To do that, it must change. I have never believed in asking another to do what you are unwilling to do yourself. So I look upon this as an opportunity. 
I owe it to myself and all of Thedas to seek the Sunburst throne. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm glad you think so, because I think you'd make a good pope. I think you'd make an excellent choice. Thank you. Let's hope the Chantry clerics agree. Excellent. Do you have any other advice on just anything, really? Do you have any advice for me? Hmm. It seems that Corypheia searches for elven artifacts. That's hardly surprising. Tevinter power is based on what those vultures scavenged from the ancient elves. Whatever advantage he hopes to gain, we need to stop him at once. I agree. Also, about that tranquil cure, I got a couple of tranquilized mages working for me. Might be nice if I could reverse that. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. Ah, well, I'm sure there are some mages who have been wrongfully tranquilized that would probably benefit from being reverted. There are so many tranquil. They deserve a chance to heal. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. That's responsible of you. Thank you. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Yes, another time. For now, why don't we talk to Liliana, since she was also in the running for being new Femme Pope. She did what to the Duke de Freyen? He's demanding an explanation. And a new state room. <sighs> I'll give him a room on the other wing. I will speak to him. And Sarah. Uh, I'm increasingly suspecting that maybe Sarah should be kicked out. I'm, I'm not really bringing her along on very many missions. I don't approve of her. She's kind of funny, yes. But sounds like she's giving Josephine a headache, and I just cannot have that in my army. I was going to go to the war room and, of course, sort out a couple of missions. But Josephine, you got time to talk? How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. Well, at least they weren't bored, right? No one can say the evening wasn't memorable. They've already begun composing songs about it in Val Royale, no doubt. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing. So few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. I know, and it was so blatant, too. How could they have not noticed it? Probably because, yeah, they're not really focused on anything but themselves. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. I agree, but our dance was the highlight, was it not? My favorite moment of the evening is still our waltz in the garden. <sighs> I could have danced with you for hours. We must do it again sometime. Yes, sounds good. But first, let's get down to business, because we've got to attend the war summit. Or the war council. It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlais. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlais' support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Good. It'll be easier to destroy those cowards. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. Let's not get too cocky. We've been having a lot of success recently, but there's always a chance for failure. So be on your guard. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Hi, Morgan. Fortunately, I can assist. 
I don't think I've properly introduced you to the team. Everybody, this is Morrigan. Morrigan, this is everybody. She's a blood mage, but not quite a blood mage. She knows a bunch of different magics, and uh, I'm sure she'll be an asset to the team. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. Okay, I'm gonna go see what this is all about. Be back in a minute, team. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. That makes sense. I was informed that Corypheus was going after elven artifacts. This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds. Untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? No, that actually answers my first question. That means it teleports people. So, let's see where it teleports us to. Nothing wrong ever happens with an Illuvian. Certainly not. Not like back in Dragon Age 2 where a demon was trying to corrupt Meryl the Elf. No. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I'm gonna call it the end of time, because it reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Although I already killed Gaspard, so we're probably not gonna see him. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. I liked my name better. Yeah, teleporting does seem useful, I suppose. A useful trick. For one who knows the way, certainly. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. Not all of them, huh? What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. Do you have said key? I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. And Corypheus wants access to the end of time? Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. I suppose this place does kind of remind me of the Fade. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Yep, that is the goal. Stopping Corypheus has been my intention all along, to the surprise of absolutely no one. But I look forward to working with you, Morrigan. Well, that was an interesting revelation. Here we have a new Alluvion. No demons seem to be pouring out of this one, though. It's just a teleporter. A teleporter to alternate dimensions. Yeah, we can make use of this, and we should definitely stop Corypheus from trying to use it for whatever nefarious plans he has. You say there's one in the Arbor Wilds? Uh, we should probably go there and stop him from using it then. And I'm gonna pick up this book. Yep, more busy work. One out of 48 found. Hooray, I'm up to nine. I'm not gonna actively look for him. That's a waste of my time. I haven't spent nearly enough time here in the garden. 
Fertile ground even here. This hold has everything. Yes, lovely, lovely plants. And Morrigan, and I'm assuming that's your kid. You're the Inquisitor. You are observant. Mother never told me the Inquisitor was an elf. Well, your mother never told me that your child was so inquisitive. The years gave me away, didn't they? No, your blood is very old. I saw it right away. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on his hand, Mother? I did see. Tis time to return to your studies, little man. Hmm. He called my blood old. My blood is offended. Maybe. I'll have to ask it. <laughs> my son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I suspected he was your son. The one you conceived with the first Mike in the first game. And if that's true, and I'm role-playing as the son of the first Mike, then I guess that kind of makes you my stepmother, doesn't it? And your son is kind of like my stepbrother. Hooray! I've got an extended family! I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy, but seldom troublesome. You've gotta keep an eye on the quiet ones. They, you never know what they're up to. Will his father be joining us as well? Twould be... most unlikely. I have raised Kieran on my own for quite some time now, as was my preference from the start. So, tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place, and you will scarce notice our presence. He's a little quirky, if you don't mind me saying so. Not what I would expect from a normal kid. There's something rather... unusual about him. There is. He is a special lad. It falls to me to protect him from anything and anyone that mean him ill. Most of all, he must be protected from myself. No one could harm him more than I. To think, until recently this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. Uh, why don't you ask it? It's more defensible than Haven. After what happened there. You chose better than perhaps even you know. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. I already know so much about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden fight that blight, and you worked with King Alistair, and you and Liliana have a past, so it must be nice for you to reconnect with her. Also, your son has the soul of an old god demon inside of him, so that's something we should probably keep an eye on. Just don't hold anything back. We need every advantage. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed. Tis that he actually may. Yes, well that's why we're here, and that's why you're here. We're gonna stop him, Morgan. No worries there. I understand you have spared the Grey Wardens from destroying what goodwill was left them. Tis good of you considering the weakness Corypheus exploited was their own doing. Still, should a true archdemon one day arise, they will no doubt be needed. Or so they would have us believe. Yes, that did factor into my decision to spare them. The world needs the Grey Wardens more than the world knows. Do you have any opinions on the Inquisition right now? Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? Tis remarkable what you have built. I will give you that. Leniana has built a network of spies beyond anything Thedas has seen. All this in precious little time, conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. 
I wonder if Corypheia suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. Hopefully it'll be a force for good. I haven't really thought about it too much. I've been focused on my task at hand. We have to defeat him first, then I'll worry about what's next. Should that happen, the world will lie at your feet, more or less. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, many will be eager to knock you back down. Now they've already tried. They keep on trying to knock me down and I just keep on getting back up. I'll leave you to the garden. As you like. First, let's go to the war table a second time so I can distribute things as I see fit. Which is what I was trying to do before Morgan interrupted, but it's fine. She had important things to show me. First things first, Dwarven Slaves. Did we rescue them? The camp was already destroyed. The Venatori were dead. Dwarven tools were found, but no dwarves alive or dead. One Deepstalker corpse found and signs of blight corruption. Best guess, Venatori surprised by forces emerging from the camp. Well, mm hmm, well, okay. I guess we got some gold from that. Probably not the best resolution to that quest, but oh well. You seem to enjoy yourself at the Winter Palace, Liliana. Or was that part of the game? Perhaps it was both. <laughs> that Liliana, always keeping up appearances. Truth or dare, the Imperial Court. I very much enjoyed your soiree. Here's some influence. Thank you. That's good. Find the old Montillier family crest. If you're trying to find the Montillier family crest, I would suggest checking out the reputable shops in Val Royo. Uh, okay, then I guess I'm gonna go to Val Royo and pick that up from one of the shops. I can't believe I did a mission where someone just told me to go to the store. That's that's kind of silly. Hersu Marquis Buffon. Yes, if I remember correctly, Marquis Buffon was the one who was doing illegal drilling and woke up a bunch of dark spawns. So, yeah, probably should pursue this guy, bring him in for questioning, maybe interrogate him, maybe execute him, we'll see. According to Dorian, it might be possible to discover who Corypheus once was. Knowing he was human could make him less attractive to Tevinter zealots who think of him as a god. All right, if we're going to be seeking out information, I would send Liliana on this task, but she's busy. So, Josephine, bribe this man with gifts and favors. This is normal for Tevinter and what he expects. Ah, I see. Okay. Inquisitor. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And break. See you later, everyone. Hey, Vivian, how are you doing? Did you enjoy yourself at the ball? Because it seemed like you were enjoying yourself. Inquisitor, I wonder if you might help me with a delicate situation. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. Oh, is that all? You just need a dragon's heart? I can help you do that. Sounds easy. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. I'm not sure what potion you're trying to make there, but sure, I can help you out. I have no reason to distrust you. You've been a very helpful ally so far, so sure. I'll go to that place and pick up a dragon's heart. Like going to the store and picking up a gallon of milk, right? And one last person I wanted to talk to today, Liliana. Liliana, the other person that seems to be a candidate, a potential candidate for being the new divine. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture. The ones that blew up when Corypheus attacked? Yeah, I suppose all the ones remaining, you and Cassandra, would not be the worst choices. Honestly, compared to what you've been doing so far, you've been a real help. Being the Divine seems like it would be largely a figurehead position, not very useful. Why does the Divine need a successor? Who cares if her throne is empty? If there's no Divine, there is no Chantry. Perhaps that is your wish. The Chantry did terrible things to your people. I understand why you might hate it. But do you think ages of elven hatred will just disappear if the Chantry does? I suppose that would be bad, yeah. No. We don't want that. And the Chantry can see that it doesn't happen. The people are sheep, Inquisitor. They need to follow. But this is a discussion for later. 
Tifgorifius wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. I'm glad you're also focused on the mission, Liliana. Wow, you went off on a tangent there, Liliana. I didn't mean to question the beliefs that you held so dear. I was just saying, it doesn't seem like the divine is a very useful position. Just make it a very, very simple statement. No need to get angry. Anything else you want to say to me? A message from Divine Justinia. Ooh, she's dead. Sounds like a trap. Don't trust it. We have enemies who would trick us like this. No, it's genuine. She and I have a series of clues we include in our correspondence precisely for this reason. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. I suppose it wouldn't be out of the question for her to have left you a dying message, but... Uh, it still seems suspicious. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. <laughs> I instruct you she doesn't. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, sure. We can do this. If you need to do this, then we'll do this. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. All right. That's fair enough, Liliana. Sounds like a very important mission for you, so we will be able to attend to that very quickly. But first... I must attend to the most important thing, and that's retrieving the Montillier family crest for Josephine. That is a mission of utmost importance. I wouldn't expect you to understand. So we'll just hop right on over to... Not the Exalted Plan. Valroyo! Yes, we'll go to Valroyo. Here we go, the Montillier family crest for a whole zero gold. Best nothing I ever spent. Well, that was incredibly simple. Well, that concludes my business in Valroyo. Let's go back to the castle, shall we? Please tell Lord Dorian that I can't get him an invitation to the Winter Sun Ball in Leeds. He won't be surprised. He said it would probably be beyond you. It's not beyond me, it's... <sighs> tell him I'll try. Hey, Josephine! Got good news for you. I... what's this? You said you wanted to see your original family crest? I found one for you. It's a boat, apparently. I'm astonished. I'd given up hope that any example of the early family crest still existed. It even has our first motto, back from when we had a trading fleet to speak of. From sea to shore, we tame the waves. Well, I hope you like it. It took me a bit of work, but anything to make you happy. Anything to see you smile. You've certainly succeeded. Thank you. You're welcome. Probably the most important quest I've ever done in my entire life. Well, I think today has been a success. There's not a whole lot more for us to do. Uh, I guess we could go do Liliana's mission or try and kill that Snow Wervin for Vivian. Anything in my throat? My throne's gone again. But apparently I can sit in it, which means it's time to judge somebody. Who needs to be judged today? First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> You're not going to compliment my hover chair? Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Yes. Empress Selene's betrayer. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. <laughs> She's dead. They brought me her remains in a crate to ju <laughs> have to judge her remains. <laughs> This is supposed to make sense. I'm judging a box. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... Oh, forgive me, there is an odor. <laughs> <clears throat> I... <laughs> Community service, yes. I call for rehabilitation. 
The Skull shall do public theater about the evils of evil. I also judge the box. End table for orphans. That's quite enough, Inquisitor. <laughs> Point taken. All right. <laughs> Cassandra slightly disapproves, but everyone else got a laugh out of it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did I just get a new mission from that? We can take the skull on tour. Did I just see that mission pop up? We're going to have to check that out later. <laughs> oh, there is... There is definitely a little bit of levity, a little bit of very dark humor, but very enjoyable humor in this game. Oh, all right. I think next time we're going to do that secret quest for Liliana, and then we're going to try and slay that snow wervin for... <laughs> slay that snow wervin for Vivian, and then see what this is all about with the taking the skull on tour. See if that's just a quest I can assign. Until next time, my name is Mike, and this has been Dragon Age Inquisition. Thank you for joining me.